Hello, this is Ian from Device42. And thank you for joining me today as we walk through how to install the Device42 main appliance in your Amazon Web Services environment. Device42 can be deployed as an on-prem solution on any modern hypervisor in your local environment or data center, but it can also be deployed from the AWS Marketplace. In order to do this, you'll first want to navigate to your AWS Management Console, then to the EC2 section. Be sure to choose the appropriate availability zone you wish to deploy to. Once in the EC2 area, select Launch Instance, where you'll be able to select the Device42 AMI to deploy. Navigate to the AWS Marketplace section and search for Device42. Select an image, which will bring up a window with some information about the AMI you're going to deploy. I want to quickly point out the usage instructions section. This will show you how to navigate to your instance using the public DNS name via a web browser and the credentials needed to log in. Please take note that the username is admin, while the password will be the instance ID of the EC2 instance you've deployed, which I'll point out in a few minutes. There's also a link to the documentation on how to deploy to AWS as well. Once you hit continue, you'll be able to select the instance type used for your Device42 appliance. This will be limited to the T2 large and T2 extra large types. Uh, these will have the appropriate amount of virtual CPUs and memory needed for Device42 to run. Hit next, where you can configure some instance details such as the VPC or net, subnet, but I'm going to leave this as the default. I would also suggest leaving the storage size uh, as the default, as this is the minimum, rec minimum recommendation needed for Device42. Add any tags as required. A new security group will also be created for your Device42 instance. This will have the necessary ports open in order to access, a, access your appliance via SSH, uh, a web browser, or uh, the appliance manager, which is used for administrative functions. Click Review and Launch, followed by Launch once more. This will bring up a window for you to select a keep SSH key pair in order to SSH into your instance uh, via something like PuTTY or some other SSH client. You can create a new key pair right from within AWS or select an existing key pair, which I'm going to do here. Once you click Launch Instances, it'll take a few minutes for the appliance to spin up. Once that is done, you can navigate back to the EC2 homepage and see the new Device42 instance that has been deployed in the Running Instances section. In the Description section, we can see the public DNS and IPv4 addresses, as well as the private DNS and private IP address. Please take note of the instance ID found here, which will be used as the password to gain access via the web browser. All right, so in order to gain access to Device42, copy the public DNS name and open a new tab, paste that name in there. Uh, please be sure to enter HTTPS in front of the public DNS name as this is how we're gaining access to the appliance over port 443. Now remember the username is admin, and the password was our instance ID, which we can copy right from the description section here. And there you have it, now we have access. Once you've gained access to your uh, brand new Device42 appliance instance, please reach out to support at device42.com for a new trial license as this will be expired, uh, as well as update files to update your appliance to the most recent version of Device42. Uh, this will have the all the newest features as well as be the most stable version available. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me today. I hope this was uh, informative and helpful in learning how to deploy your Device42 to your AWS environment. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to support at device42.com. Thank you.